Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now, in this video, I want to help you guys make some extra cash, and now we are located around the city of Valentine, and we are specifically looking for what is in front of me, and that is this beautiful looking wagon. So we're gonna go ahead and steal this thing from this guy, and we're gonna be able to use this thing to make some extra cash. So let's go ahead and do that. What's up, my dude? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Can I, can I borrow this, please? Please and thank you. Oh, I'm gonna be watching myself. Don't you worry about that. Excuse me. Off you go, my dude. <laughs> See you later, bum wipe. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be using this cart to make some extra cash in the city of Valentine. Or actually, I should say just outside the city of Valentine. We are going to be going down this way, down this path, which is going to be right here in front of us. And we are going to be using this to make some extra dough. So we're going to be actually going to this location right about there or so. Um, once I get away from the law, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys a little bit better where, where, where we are going to be going because I don't really want to be wanted that much by the law. So we're just going to go ahead and make our way down this, this slope, this prairie area down into the valley, and we're going to be doing a little bit of northern pike fishing. Now, this is a great spot to do a lot of different fishing. If you guys don't know about it, this cart is going to help us make about $32 per time that we do use this thing. So we're going to go ahead and hold up. I don't know why this thing never wants to listen to me. Stupid NPC horse. <laughs> it's freaking out. But what we're going to do is we're going to be backing it up to this rock right behind me. And we're going to be able to get ourselves in and out of this cart very, very easily in the next few moments. So we're just going to go ahead and park this bad boy. we got to go back just a little bit further. Right about there. I think that's... Oh, there we go. Perfect. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fishing for Northern Pike. So when you guys come down to this area, what you're going to want to do is... I'm going to show you guys on the map exactly the location that we are at so you guys can see it very clearly in correlation to the city of Valentine. So we are on the Dakota River, and we're going to be fishing for Northern Pike, and I can actually already see one, which is right there above my head. And you guys want to be using your lake lure or your special lake lure. In this case, I'm using my special lake lure. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use our eagle eye so we can see what we got in here and we can see we got the two of them right here now not every single time is there going to be able to make you know are you going to be able to get uh two or three or four it's kind of random you guys can easily go back to the butcher though each time that you need to do this so we're just going to start by slowly reeling in our line here and we should get the northern pike uh, attracted to this pretty quickly and we want to try to get this line up and down as vertical as possible before the fish go ahead and strike because it's going to make it easier to catch them in the long run. So we're just going to go ahead and yoink them right there. There we go. And now he's done fighting, so he's pretty easy and pretty close to where I'm located. So just like that, we're going to be able to grab ourselves our first northern pike. Don't worry about how muddy I am. I, I fell earlier. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't wash off. I'm My bad. So we're going to go in and keep this guy. We're going to store him in our wagon, which is right to the left of us right here. We can just go ahead and hop in. Just going to go up to the back of the corner of this thing right here, uh, which is going to be, see if we can get in nice and easy. It's going to drop the pike right there. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, I would like to give a shout out to a another YouTuber that has been kind of surfing on my channel. And we've been kind of, uh, you know, supporting each other he is on the playstation and i am on the xbox so we try to give as much support to each other as possible and that would be the red beard gamer so i'd like to give a shout out to him uh i've done this this spot uh in the past before and i know that he has recently done it on his channel as well uh so you guys can you know go go over to his channel give him some love give him some support some support if even if you're not on the ps4 so all right, where's that pike? There's the pike. Come here, pikey, pikey. 
You know you want to bite my line. There you go. Bite my bait. Oh, you like that special lake lure, don't you? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you're going to fight a little bit, aren't you, today? Come here. Now, every once in a while, you do have to be careful because they will break your line. But the nice thing about having the special river lure is that, for me, it has never, ever broke. So it is by far one of the best investments that you guys can have is the special lures versus just the regular ones. So we're just going to go ahead and dump this fish right in here. Beautiful. Right next to the other one. Now, I didn't see any more of the pike. I don't know why I'm not being able to get out of the cart here. There we go. I didn't see any more pike, but let's just see if there by chance is any more in the area. Now, if for whatever reason you're like me and you're not able to catch any more than two at this specific time, you can do one of two things. You can either change the bait on your fishing pole and you can actually just do some regular fishing or you can just leave the area with your cart and take this cart back up to Valentine and make some extra cash that way. So you just have to go up that path, which is right over there, and then head up to Valentine, which is not really that far away. Um, so it's kind of up to you guys what you guys would prefer to do. So I'm just gonna see if we can get maybe another one to spawn in this area by fishing out some of these little guys. And we'll just kind of see what we're gonna do from there. But this is a great, this is a great fishing spot. It's really close to the butcher. The nice thing about the special spinner is, you know, we can just pull them out and yank up the fish right out of the river very, very, very quickly at one time. Oh, there we go. We got a couple more right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and grab our special lake lure. So that is one reason that I wanted to show you guys. You guys can fish, but the, 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 the northern pike is what I'm trying to say. My goodness. I was trying to say trout. Oh, my God. That is way too far. We're going we're gonna to bring this thing back back up here oh god okay well we caught him i was not expecting that at all i think we're gonna break the line though here i didn't have that feeling but this is a little bit of a challenge here we got one of the big fish here on the line i cast that thing way too far let's go ahead and control him a little bit there we go now he's done fighting us there we go. We're just going to reel this guy in. I shouldn't have cast it out as far as I, w I did, though. But right here, we should actually be able to pick it up. There we go. Beautiful. That wasn't actually as hard as I thought it was going to be. But the reason that I wanted to show you guys to fish instead of just leaving the area is because you can make more money by catching the smaller fish. And eventually, once you catch a couple of the smaller ones, the bigger ones will go ahead and spawn. So let's just go ahead and kind of get ourselves in our cart right here. Face that way right about there there we go we can go ahead and drop our fish in our cart in our wagon excuse me and i did see that there was one more so let's go ahead and catch that last one and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up to valentine and sell these fish where's that big boy at oh there's a couple more in there now there we go nice so there we go we could actually have our chance at getting five i did see where did, i don't where did he go there he is he's kind of chilling out there by the rocks I'm just going to take a glance and see where they're at. Oh, they're both attracted to it, which is good. Makes it really easy to catch them then. So I'm just going to, I'm just really getting it nice and gentle, gently like, and then I'm trying to get it as vertical as possible because that will allow us to be able to reel them in very, very, very quickly. I mean, just a couple reels in and then we're able to catch that. And I believe that there's actually another one that did spawn in the area, which is, which is absolutely amazing. And we could just continuously do this and make a lot of money here. But yeah, it's pretty much unlimited. You just have to get rid of some of the other smaller fish or get the, the area to kind of repopulate with uh, other fish before you start doing um, some of the bigger ones. So there we go. We got another one right here. Let's just go ahead and check. Let's see, there is one down there, but there's actually just one right here. Let's see if we can get this guy attracted. And what I meant earlier by the four that I had is I, the four showed up at basically one time ever before. Not like being able to fish these guys out and then getting the other ones to spawn or getting them to spawn again, but just four at one time. So that's kind of what I wanted to just kind of reiterate there for you guys. But I think right now... I know that there's one more Northern Pike that's out there, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that guy. And what we're going to do is we're just going to head up to Valentine real quick. 
if I can get myself inside this wagon here. That's the only bad thing about the wagons is it makes it, they, it is a little tricky to get them to get in there just the right way, especially when you start getting multiple fish in there. They don't seem to ever want to just lay down the way that they're supposed to. There we go. All right, let's get out of this thing and let's make our way back up to Valentine and sell these. All right, so we have arrived at the butcher in in Valentine. And what we need to do is we need to take these guys out one at a time. So we're just going to go in and drop these. Make sure that they are out of the wagon before you guys sell them. Because any of, of the fish that are currently in the wagon, they will despawn and you will lose them all. So you got to make sure that you take them all out first before selling any of them. So I did have five and I still do have five. So we're just going to drop the other one there. And then we can start selling these basically one at a time here. There we go. Look at that. Money, 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 money. We love our money here in Red Dead Online. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that all of them are out of the... Oh, yeah. We're going to sell. That's what we're going to do. So we obviously we got our two uh, that we had earlier. We have our chain pickerel. We have our rock bass. And then we do have another pike. And now we just need to go over and grab another one and then just kind of rinse and repeat. Right. And now that the, I mean, the nice thing is that it is really close to the butcher. So we don't have to worry about, um, you know, a lot of other players. We don't have to worry about, uh, you know, losing any of the fish just because it is really close. We're not traveling that far, but we're making a pretty decent amount of money. I mean, we're making 40 bucks pretty quickly. From doing this so I, got, I think I got what two more two more and you can see that none of them did did despawn and I just wanted to prove that to you guys that's why I'm actually grabbing all of them but like I said just make sure that you guys do take them out of the the cart before you start this method and as long as there's no gunfire going on this cart will be available for you guys right away to start basically rinse and repeat that same process. And you guys can do this really pretty quickly. You know, every 10 minutes you guys are making, you know, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, if not more. So you guys could easily make a few hundred dollars an hour from doing this method. I mean, I did this and I was talking to you guys in probably, you know, a 12 minute period. I got five fish. So there's, you know, four times that by four roughly. In order to get that, it's a little bit, you'd probably get more like five times, but that's $200 an hour, which is, which is pretty fantastic. Not, that's not even selling some of the smaller fish that we were able to obtain earlier. But anyway, that is all the time that I have for in this video for you guys today. If you guys did enjoy the video in any way, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. Wow.